Esselman, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire, 402-560-6197. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. One action, no matter how small, can have a world of impact on the life of a child. Cedar started because one couple believed that they could provide a child with a better life. And that belief grew into the Cedars that we know today. A powerful force for good that helps thousands of kids across Nebraska. Belief grows. The Double the Saving Sales event is happening now through April 22nd at Bonds All Pool and Spa. During this event, buyers can take advantage of up to $1,500 in savings and receive 0% APR for 60 months. Visit the Bonds All Pool and Spa showroom at 33rd and Pioneers or visit their website at bondsallpool.com to learn more about their hot tub sale. Act fast because this offer ends soon. Bonds All Pool and Spa, every day made better. Tune in every Wednesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. for the Malone Radio Show on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Don't miss the opportunity to learn about the Malone Community Center's goal to eliminate multi-generational poverty in Lincoln and the surrounding area. It's the Malone Radio Show with Executive Director John Goodwin and Sports Director Mike Hunter every Wednesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member? For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. You're spending $300 a month. Binge drinking is the most common form of excessive drinking, which costs the United States more than $191 billion each year. By drinking less, you will save $300 a month. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that first person. Weekday mornings at 7.30, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up Sipple. Two questions for you, two for Sip. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up Sipple. Weekday mornings at 7.30 brought to you by Bagels and Joe. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Green. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0. And bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Raff. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches college football history we may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight 12 year nfl veteran he's got some speed to go with strength huskers and green bay packers hall of famer shovel pass to green in the vikings territory finally brought down and university of nebraska esports coach amon green look at green all by himself 20 10 touchdown <laughs> Sand Hills Global on 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com.
All right, everybody, we are back again. It is Friday. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. The first hour is proudly sponsored by Sand Hills Global. Sand Hills Global is looking to fill hundreds of openings in sales, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Career and internship opportunities are available at the Global Headquarters in Lincoln. Apply today at sandhills.jobs. Got it. Boom. And let me start this show with the way I start the show every single day. Kansas City Royals baseball, seven straight wins. Mm. They did, cannot be stopped. Did not know you started the show that way every single day. Oh, well, now that they win every single day, you got to announce the win. It's mm. almost like the Chicago Cubs song when they play. Hey, Chicago, what do you say? That is right. Chicago Cubs going to win today. I think they need to make a Royal song like that. No, they do not. Bobby Witt gets a lot of hits. Who's Bobby Witt? NASCAR driver. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> oh, you're talking about the Royals still. <laughs> he, is, he is. He is. He's the wide receiver. Nick was being or mean. Wide receiver. He's the short. He's the shortstop. Nick was being mean yeah. to you. Hey, hey, Raph, do you mean do you mean this? Oh, bring it. Hey, Chicago, what do you say? The Cubs are gonna win today. They're sending go, go Cubs, go. Go, Cubs, go. Hey, Chicago. It's a very catchy song. They play it after after every they play win. After every win. After yep. every win, people are flying the W flags. And oh wow! There's a whole like two and a half minute song of like they got the power, they got the speed to Tubs be the best in the, in the National, National League. League. You know, baseball is uh, each each sport kind of has their own uh, you know their own cultures and one of my favorite songs, the Lakers. After they win, we love it. I love oh, LA. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, they yep. played that quite a bit. That was the Magic Johnson days and James Worthy, Byron Scott, the ball, Ju, Abdul Jabbar, of course. It's a little upsetting. Back in 1987, the Denver Broncos made a remake oh, of that. Boy. I love Elway. And I thought that was going to be the number one hit in the country for probably five or six years, but. It never took off quite as much as what I thought it was going to. <laughs> Somehow, some way, during the spillover, Rav mentioned the Broncos <laughs> with the deepest quarter. I, I didn't say anything. I didn't want to, but it was, I didn't want to, that's the group I'm thinking. Then Elway just comes out of nowhere. Yep. I mean, yeah. you hear, I love LA. I love LA. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to turn off my mic. I'm going to go watch the Masters. Speaking of, I got to turn my phone back up. No, Tiger's done now. And he just made, what do you uh, finish up at? What do you make that putt? Uh, I would assume he probably, probably bogeyed. Oh, he bogeyed? Ooh, so what? He probably bogeyed. No. Out. No. What are you talking about? He probably bogeyed. Why? why? Well, because he went, he went way past the hole out of the bunk. No, he did not, Nick. <laughs> no, he did not. No, he's put. Well, yeah, he's got a little putt to go here. Let me see. <laughs> I got to catch up. Well, it could be Jordan Spieth. That wasn't good. Jordan Spieth, yeah, quadded 15. Did he? Yep. Quadded. Tiger's out and down. That's one of us. You know, Nick, when you just said that, when you mentioned Tiger did that. Yeah. Shot through the heart, and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. So this is the type of thing. You we're play your out. part. You play your games. You give Tiger a bad name. Nicholas, I'm I'm big sure. swim, stop it. <laughs> I'm cheering for Tiger. And mm. Nick was right. He bogeyed. I bogeyed <laughs> on 18. <laughs> Dang it, I'm rewinding. Well, there you have it. So he's plus one going into Whoa. the, uh, plus one going into uh, Western. Oh, that's a long drive. Along O Street right now, folks, Western Nebraska. We had a Western Nebraska Community College uh, van, that, bus the, that drove by. The that's former, way out there. Hold on. Right. Here's a question. The former home of which Nebraska basketball transfer in 2019? Oh. Um, that one guy. Oh, what is his name? He then transferred from Nebraska after one season to Pacific. Well, he's oh, been at yeah. like 35 schools. Um, yep. Yeah. Dang it. What was his no, name? no, not him. No, not, not him. him not the him. other guy, but I don't know who you're talking about. Or was it him? No, it was him. No, no, it I was, him. no, it was him. Was it him? What's his name? I'm going to see if the text line could get it. It was that one guy. Nobody, Nobody's texted in yet. Because he was Jerve Green. Okay, That's not so the guy we were thinking. thinking. We were thinking, thinking to do the shot all the time. Shot guy. But I think transfer. he went there too, though. Did he go there? Who? The one that went to like five colleges. He he, made, he got the uh, Teddy Allen. Yeah, yeah. Teddy, Teddy, Bucket. Teddy Bucket. Teddy Allen went from where was it? it was so West Virginia. Then it was. But it goes Sean P from Eagle. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where else he went. 
to New Mexico then after. He went to a lot of schools. Yeah. yeah there was a lot. A lot. There was a lot. Of but nonetheless. Well, you guys, we folks, this is Friday. Beautiful Friday. It's, hope your work week has gone well. Um, thanks for riding with us this morning. And uh, the sun is out. It's supposed to be a high of 87 degrees tomorrow. Hello. 87 degrees tomorrow. Sunday is supposed to be warm as well. So, And we got a lot of sunshine going forward. And, folks, coming forward, we got some clips from, me, uh, from the, uh, the practice yesterday. Of course, Nebraska scrimmages tomorrow. The men and women, the, men, uh, women, the ladies in softball play against Rutgers this weekend. Uh, the men head out to Rutgers. Uh, they played this after. That came at 1 o'clock? Five. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Both, uh, both of them out of Piscataway. Yep. Five o'clock uh, games tonight, both softball and men's baseball uh, tonight. Men's, uh, obviously, the football team scrimmages tomorrow. We've got some sound bites for you. we got a guest for you at 9.05 that you, I know you're going to enjoy uh, as well. So we are looking forward. Keep riding with us this morning. We'll be right back. And also, we're, of course, we're going to talk the Masters. Nick, you got that song, man. You got the song. Oh, the theme oh, song. Oh, you, see, you, just, you just spring it on me. I was practicing on the you way just, to work today. You were singing it? Now it's gone. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Take us home and break in that voice, Raph. Take us to break in that voice. Hello, friends. We will send it to break. This is The Drive. 93.7 The Ticket. Ninety-three seven. The ticket. Fox KFXL weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine and light winds. Should be a beautiful day with a high around seventy. Tonight, clear skies and light breeze with a low around forty-seven. And tomorrow, we'll see increasing clouds. We'll get breezy but warm. And a high around eighty-four. I'm meteorologist Kyle Tucker for ninety-three point seven. The ticket and the ticketfm.com. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, Garage Doors, and more. The Double the Savings Sales event is happening now through April 22nd at Bonds All Pool and Spa. During this event, buyers can take advantage of up to $1,500 in savings and receive 0% APR for 60 months. Visit the Bonds All Pool and Spa showroom at 33rd and Pioneers or visit their website at bondsallpool.com to learn more about their hot tub sale. Act fast because this offer ends soon. Bonds All Pool and Spa, every day made better. At Doan University, we build leaders, and that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours, and our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member? For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. The need in our community, if you just look at the numbers, it's frightening. We're serving over a thousand kids every day. With the passion of our people, I really feel like our potential to be of even greater service to kids and families who are struggling is just unlimited. But in order to have the greatest impact, we need all the help we can get from the community. Problem gambling affects millions of Americans daily, of all ages and walks of life. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. 
Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job, it's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour, with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits, plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Infrastructure, a veteran-owned local company proudly serving Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the surrounding areas. Bauer provides quality work at an affordable price, and they're growing rapidly. If you want to experience a career with a fast-paced, family-friendly environment, visit BauerInfrastructure.com. They have top-of-the-line benefits, year-round work, even through the winter. Bauer, usher in the new era of infrastructure to an area near you. And as always, go Big Red! The fans of Kansas Speedway know how to have a good time. One that celebrates fantastic finishes and family-friendly facilities. Trading paint. We've got feuding. And tailgating tradition. Burnouts, beer, and barbecue. Oh, it'll for sure be a good time. And you are all invited. NASCAR weekend at Kansas Speedway, May 4th and 5th. Get your tickets now at kansasspeedway.com. Grab a free burger and beer at L.A. Power Sports of Lincoln on April 27th during their Husker Spring Game tailgate. Meet the L.A. Power Sports team, play some tailgate games with them, and enter for a chance to win an official John Elway autographed football. Check out their huge selection of boats and watercraft for the summer, along with hundreds of motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides from all the major brands. Stop out and watch the game with them on April 27th at L.A. Power Sports of Lincoln, 27th and I-80. They'll be tailgating all day. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire at 402 402- 560-6197. Hi everyone, Kendall Warnock, A1 Automotive in downtown Lincoln. Spring is here, summer is fast approaching. With weddings, vacations, and weekend getaways on your mind, do not let car issues prevent you from getting where you need to be. Car problems shouldn't be something that you put up with. Let us get you back on the road in comfort and safety. We diagnose all makes and models from Porsches to Hondas, Toyotas, and Chevrolets. We fix a variety of issues with all of them with our talented techs and our experienced staff. A1 Automotive at 11th and L, downtown Lincoln. Always honest answers. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All 
All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive, 93.7, The Ticket. There was um, some comments yesterday from Coach Rule. Uh, they're getting close to the almost midway point of spring ball. Man, it's getting there. It yeah. like almost it's at, you know it's pretty much going to the halfway point. Week. Yeah, My. actually three. This is week three. Yeah, I was just saying there two weeks until the spring game. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely, man. They're getting through it. You guys think about this. We were looking at the ticker for to get down to it, and now we're here. And they're, like I said, get you know, in three weeks into it and two weeks out from the spring game, man. So, mm-hmm. you know, during the crossover, Nick, Sip asked, uh, Sip and Jake asked me and Raph, if we were at this, if we're at the practice tomorrow, what would we look for? And you know what? I'm going to put that out there to the the text line, too. Uh, if you were at the uh, this practice tomorrow, the scrimmage tomorrow, um, what would you be looking for first? On the text line, let us know where your eyes going to go through first. What p- position, uh, what, part of the, uh, what part of the team uh, what are you going to look at that first? Big shout out to Cody Raff, Cody Stevenson, man. We were, I was texting him some jokes last night late. <laughs> Dude, he texted me back, like, uh, missed me back on Instagram at like at 3, 326 this morning. He was on his way to get his workout in, man. Dang. He was getting up, man. Dedicated Cody, to excellence. Yeah, man. My man, little bro, Cody is getting it in. And uh, proud of you. Love you, man. Always appreciate you. Uh, some of the jokes I sent him, I could never say on radio. <laughs> a racial undertone, perhaps. <laughs> Nick goes, shocker. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so should you be saying them at all? <laughs> Cancel culture. <laughs> all I hear is white noise. <laughs> I'll be there for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Coach Rule's got to say, man, regarding yesterday's practice. Let's talk about injury updates. Here we go. I was sure it was good going into today. You know, today's kind of like the today's kind of like the uh, line of demarcation. You know, sometimes the military, like, you know, in the Air Force, they have, like, a line where once they pass it, it means there, there's no turning back on the mission. Some guys get to that line, and and Chad, we had some guys go down today with some soft tissue stuff, it, it looked like. Um, so, you know, this is always sort of the day where, you, where really the wear and tear of camp starts to begin to affect you, you know, as you're in the middle of the third week, or the middle of the second, third week, right? Yeah, third week. So, um, yes, yeah, so we had a couple guys today, but I think overall pretty good. I mean, nothing – Long-term, Leslie Black uh, has had a, a small uh, fracture in his ankle that had to be a, a screw inserted into. Um, but other than that, you know, most of the stuff is stuff that's going to be manageable. Well, there you go. That's good news. Yeah. I, and also, too, I, I think he needs a little bit of bumps and bruises, a little bit of, what was it, soft soft tissue? Soft tissue. I think you need a little bit of that just to simulate what it's going to be like in the middle of the season. Because what do we always talk about during the football season when you get towards the middle of the end? Everybody's like, nobody's healthy. So you've kind of got to get used to playing with those bumps and bruises. So I guess it's a good simulation of what, you know, the season will be like. You know, it's, um, Rev, to your point, those those bumps and bruises help. Obviously, you don't want, you know, tears or yeah. uh, fractures, thing like that. But that it gets those guys ready for what this grind is going to be about. Uh, Coach Rule also mentioned um, they asked what second-tier players uh, are pushing first liners. Uh, he mentioned Florida transfer Mike and uh, Mazuka, uh, Utah transfer. I forgot about Tyler. Is it Knack? Knack. Knack. Tyler Knack. I forgot about him. Henry Latovsky. I like saying Latovsky. Say Latovsky. Latovsky. Say Latovsky, Nick. Henry Latovsky. Say say Bijan. Say Bijan Robinson. Bijan Robinson. When oh, I first yeah. met Nick, I would say that because I was I was blown away by this kid that knew. First of all, when I met Nick, I thought he was about thirty one years old when we first started working I on the station. More like forty three. Forty three. I thought about fifty. Well, well, Nick would, would used to be, he would just be spewing all these names. I was like, man, I am impressed with this dude. And he would always say Bijan uh, Robinson. Bijan Robinson. Then, DJ Uyunglele. Oh, oh say you, it again. you do that so good. DJ Uyunglele. Oh, wow. That sounds like a food dish, doesn't it? It, it sounds delicious. Say, say the last name again. Uyunglele. That sounds like a dish. What about it? how are you with golf names? W- it depends which one. Well, there's rumor out there that maybe you'll be taking over for Vern Lundquist next year. <laughs> so do you, have all, do you have all your golf names down? No. Get them together. Henry Lutovsky, <laughs> Jason uh, Mazi- uh, Machazek, Machazek, and Machichak, Machichak, Machiks. <laughs> we need that. We need that Mr. Mr. Cheek song or whatever Jason back Machizak. in the nineties. Machizak, 
And nope, Raekwon. No, nope, nope, we're going to get this right. Machizak. Machichek. 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 There you go. Think like, it's like Cheech and Chong. I, mean, I grew up in the 80s, brother. <laughs> <laughs> different, <laughs> different, <laughs> different jobs, though. Different jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, do you know who Cheech and Chong is? No. No. <laughs> Oh wow! I've I've heard I've heard of that. Um, no, Jason Machichek. Jason Machichek. There you go, Jason Machichek. I like that name, Machiks. And yeah. also Raquan Buckley, a converted defensive lineman with offensive line right now. Justin Evans, he said, is the number one guard, uh, but also backs up uh, center Ben Scott, which is good to have some people, some players with some, uh, some uh, duplicity that can play a few different positions. So that yep. definitely helps. Uh, I mentioned uh, the tackles, Big Teddy, of course, and B Dub, Bryce Benart. Um, are obviously the ones who have the inside track to start them with their reps and everything yeah. of that nature. You guys, offensive line-wise, okay, think about this. Two years ago, let's just be real. There was a major concert of people that wanted Ryola gone as the coach. That is true. Hmm. Am I right or wrong? That is, is that true? That is, that's that safe is true. to say. And you know what? When Rule came in, I'll never forget him saying this. When he came in, he talked to those offensive linemen. He goes, those guys said, there's nothing we wouldn't do for him. Yep. And we saw improvement. Yep. Many times, man, and, and I was like, the guy had been here only a year. Correct. First one in, turn the lights on, and he's turning the lights off. Now, and I can understand, first of all, I can understand the consternation, the frustration, and the pessimism, yeah. because what, what, when Nebraskans had saw, and it, he, he just, he walked into a situation, yeah. okay? And that, that had been going on for a long time. Yep. But what we've seen last year, there was a major improvement. Are, are there some things to feel? Of course there are. But you didn't see the boneheaded calls, you know, the, the, not, the pre-snap calls like we had seen in years prior. Yeah. Would you, would you guys agree with that, man? Yes. I agree. I, 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 I Yes. I think it's major. And you, all, and you also got to see, too, is we're starting to see a little depth develop. Yes. I mean. Yeah. Two, three years ago, we named like two offensive linemen, maybe. Maybe, yeah. And now you just went through and you, you didn't even get two, like the Grant Brickses and the and the Gunner, Gatu, Gunner Gatulas. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so I, there's depth building down there. Now it's just a matter now. You just got to keep on building. That is my main thing, Nick, that I'd want to see. Nick, I'm going to ask you this, man. My main thing I, I told Sip and Jake and uh, Raph uh, during the spillover the thing I'm going to be watching, if I was going to the scrimmage tomorrow, I'm watching the O-line. What well, about you? I, I think I would agree with you. And there's a lot of people on the text line saying the same thing. Let's let's listen to Matt Rule. Second team offensive lineman pushing the first team. Here we go. You guys have been running with the second team. You know, Mike, Mike has been running with the second team. Tyler Canox has been, you know, done done a great job. Um, uh, you know, Justin Justin Evans, you know, he while well, he's starting at guard, also goes in sometimes at center and does a fantastic job. You know, Canox got a guy I've been really pleased with just watching him sort of uh move around um lutowski while he, he might be running with the ones at guard when he goes out to tackle i think he does a fantastic job and so um you know mistake shack was doing a great job he's got a little banged up hopefully he'll be back here soon uh ruquan um making the transition still learning all the nuances but once it's all figured out i think he's gonna be really a good player so probably missing some guys there i don't mean to but i just think that whole group of those guys um at any of them at any point i think could walk in and and probably play and play really well. What what was the did he for? call him? He didn't say Machichak. He called him Mashake Shack. Yeah, uh, my Shake Shack. Mashake Shack. It wasn't Machake Shack like you had said. Uh, he called him. He said Machake Shack. There, there is an nil deal right bring there. That, bring that beat back. Um, hold on. Hold there on. is an nil deal right here for Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Yeah. Hold on. Is that Shake Shack was doing a great. She job. said Shake Shack. Yeah. Shack. No. Bring it back. Bring it back. You know, Shake Shack was doing a great job. He's Shake Shack. Shack. Shake Shack. Hey, Bring it back again. Hold on. That's NIL. Right Bring there. it back again. <laughs> Hold on. You know, Shake Shack was doing a great job. He's Shake little... Shack. Yeah. Text line. Yeah. He's saying Shake Shack. That's an NIL he, deal. He, Downtown Shack. Scott. Hold on. Downtown he, Scott. Yes. Shake he Shack. Is, he is saying Shake Shack. He is. So you're saying that man got his own player's name wrong, dog? Think of radio. Think anything. of Radio Shack was still open, Raph. Oh, <laughs> Nick, you're too young to remember Radio Shack. I remember Radio Shack. It was on 56 and 0, right by. It was also in the mall. There you I go. remember Radio there you Shack go. very wow. well. Never shopped there though. So it's, downtown Scott. Good morning to you, brother. Do you think it is he pronouncing it right or is he mispronouncing it? I think he's trying to get him an IL deal. Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Miss Shake Shack. Downtown Scott. Good morning. Downtown Scott said he's been saying that. Uh, uh, since the, from the beginning, I'm hungry for some Mashake Shack. Mm. Hey, hey, Ron, what's up, brother? Yeah, I think it's the truth. I think it's the truth, man. Hold on. Brad from Baldwin, first of all, good morning Jake to you as well, brother. Appreciate you, man. Have a great weekend, bro. 
So so here's here's the pronunciation from the UNL website. I have not heard this yet. Okay. Jason Machachok. Oh. oh. So I, I okay, so we made we both wrong. Wrong. Yes. We were both wrong. So it's Chalk. Machachok. Machachok. I'm calling him Shake Shack. I love it. Machachok. There's more uh, NIL deals yeah. at Shake Shack yeah, than there see, is. I, I, was, I, I knew I knew I thought it was Machichak because that's what we were told during his recruitment. Yeah. But and that's his Ma- voice that's, right there. That's that's him saying it. So play Mache- it one more time, Nick. Machechak. 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 Is he said Machechak? That's oh, right. That's he right. said Machechak. So think of chalk. Think of chalk. Jason Machechak. Jason Machechak. Think of chalk. Just think of chalk. Machechak. Hey, Machechak. No, no, no Shake Shack. Machechak. He's Shake Shack for me. No, no Shake Shack. He's got to be. That's the nil deal. Not if, if not if that's not your name. <laughs> Joe Theismann. Joe Theismann's not his name. Joe Thiesman. However, they changed it for the Heisman gotcha. candidacy at Notre Dame that year. There you go. What other names that we think would be different? We've been mispronounced for years. I have to think on that for a few. Machachok. Machachok. Oh, um, what are the mispronounced names? Rick Beringer. A lot of people called him Beringer. And it's Beringer. Yep, Beringer. Um, God, what else was there? I feel like there, there's been some where it's been kind of butchered a little bit yeah we'll do some thinking on that we'll do some thinking on that folks when we come back we got a little history action for you we got a guest coming up that you'll probably know at 905 of course we got some more huskers to talk we'll do that at the bottom of the hour as well and of course hello friends we will throw it to break we'll look at the leaderboard as well we'll be back it's the drive Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in April. Try their brand new cake batter cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. And try the caramel latte as 10% of proceeds from that drink will go to the Foundation for Lincoln Public Schools. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Buckle up and hang on, this is going to be a good one. The fans of Kansas Speedway know how to have a good time. One that celebrates fantastic finishes. And family-friendly facilities. Trading paint. We've got beauty. And tailgating tradition. Burnouts, beer, and barbecue. Oh, it'll for sure be a good time. And you are all invited. NASCAR weekend at Kansas Speedway, May 4th and 5th. Get your tickets now at kansasspeedway.com. Hi, I'm Senator Bo Bally. I was born and raised in Lancaster County, learning the value of hard work and grit at a young age. I built my own company, creating jobs right here in our community. I know that families and businesses in our community need lower taxes, lower cost of health care, and a great education. That's why, as your senator, I helped pass the largest tax cut and made the most significant investment in education in Nebraska history and worked to reduce the cost of health care. I'm Senator Bo Ballard, and I humbly ask for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Ballard for Nebraska. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire at 402 402- 560-6197. Hi everyone, Kendall Warnock, A1 Automotive in downtown Lincoln. Spring is here, summer is fast approaching. With weddings, vacations, and weekend getaways on your mind, do not let car issues prevent you from getting where you need to be. Car problems shouldn't be something that you put up with. Let us get you back on the road in comfort and safety. We diagnose all makes and models from Porsches to Hondas, Toyotas, and Chevrolets. We fix a variety of issues with all of them with our talented techs and our experienced staff. A1 Automotive at 11th and L, downtown Lincoln, always honest answers. 
You don't think about your roof very often, but you should never take it for granted. Roofing Service Company takes every measure to provide you with the highest quality roofing solution. Whether it's a new roof installation, roof repair, or a re-roofing project, their overall goal is to provide you with a pleasant experience and a long-lasting roof. If you have a need for siding or gutters, they're your place too. Visit RoofingServiceCompany.com for more info today. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Take your internet service to new levels with Allo, your award-winning internet provider across our fiber hoods. Allo isn't just about the fastest internet available. It's about connecting you to your world, work, and play seamlessly. Our award-winning service ensures affordable, secure, and reliable connectivity, setting us apart. Ready to transform your internet experience? Experience the fiber difference today. Sign up now at allofiber.com. Allo, connecting your world. Be a memory for your grandchildren. Among Nebraska adults age 65 or older, 47% report current alcohol use. Drinking too much can cause harm to children, family members, and loved ones. By drinking less, you will still be around for your grandchildren. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. Problem gambling affects millions of Americans daily, of all ages and walks of life. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Join us each Saturday from 11 a.m. to noon for Youth Football 101 with Tank Perry of the Nebraska Red Wolves of 7-on-7 Football. The future of the sport depends on the foundation set at a young age. Hear those stories and more each Saturday from 11 a.m. to noon here on 93.7 The Ticket. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Friday. I just saw that UConn uh, guard Paige Becker's she is coming back again for yeah. another year. Play. Yeah, that was that was decided. That's a couple old weeks news. Ago. Old news. Old news. Did you see last night? Came out that Tom Brady said that he would be open to signing a late season contract and returning back to the NFL. That's ridiculous. He said it, not me. That's ridiculous. What do you got for history today, Raffy? History. Oh. Well, let's see here. Hmm. History. Hey, AD's here. AD's back. Welcome back, AD. Hello, AD. There he is, AD. I got, I got, I got a piece of history for you, Nick. What's that? This is one that's near and dear to your heart. Eighteen seventy-seven. Okay, I was six. Eighteen seventy-seven. Twelve years after Emancipation of Proclamation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> one hundred and one years after the Declaration of Independence. Just imagine. <laughs> just imagine what your face would have looked like if this was not invented. The catcher's mask first used in a baseball game. Wow. Are you serious? Yep. So back in the day, they were just no mask. Pre-1877, yeah. it was just like football. They were just out there. Right. Boom. Nick, how many times do you think you would have got hit in the face if you didn't have a face mask? Oh, quite a few, probably. Um, I mean, a lot more. It, it would be off the ball. Like, the excuse me, the ball off of the bat. Ooh, what, was, the what, would, what was your worst pain playing catcher? Getting hit in the throat. So I, I almost passed mm. out in the game. because oh. and it was because of my own doing. Oh. So I was it was it was my sophomore year, I believe. Um, and I did not stay disciplined, did not get my chin down when I was blocking a ball. Uh oh. Came up, hit my Adam's apple. Uh oh. Okay. So then so that's one. The very next pitch, I was I was shaking off. It feels like you just you, you can't breathe. That's what yeah. it feels like after you get hit with it in, in the Adam's apple. Very next pitch did the same exact thing nice. in the same exact spot. Huh. I like walked over to the dugout and I basically like fell down well, because I almost oh, passed wow. out just because it was, I just, but it was my own fault. I got back up, went back catching and I had a nice little bruise in my Adam's apple the next couple of days. Guess who's playing catcher now? Who's that? My nephew. Good. John Andrew behind the dish. That's really? good. That's what we like to hear. Next time he's up, I have to bring him up and give him some lessons. Yep. That's the next time. That's Learn the, from the best. Not the best. Is he enjoying that, Raph? 
Yeah, at first he was he didn't he didn't want to, but now it seems like every game my sister sends a picture. Hey, there he is behind the dish. It is, it is a great position. This is an awesome position. You're you're a very big part of the ball game. So all right. Anyway, what else you guys got? Well, in 1984, Nebraska honors newly retired game announcer. Rap, you know who this is. Oh yeah. Name it. Lyle Brimser. Lyle Brimser. Nice. Says who's retiring after doing radio broadcast in University of Nebraska games for 45 years. Received the Cornhusker Cornerstone Award from the Nebraska Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Uh, Nebraska athletic uh, Bob Devaney presented Brimser uh, with the award on that Sunday night at uh, the foundation's annual Spring Husker Preview Banquet. About 500 people in attendance. Lyle Brimser, man, and woman, woman, and child. child. Did that. Terrible. Loose from their shoes. <laughs> Johnny Rogers. There it is. Game of the century. Lyle Brimser. And, and you, know, you know what's funny was with him was he also could make like the six yard carry, like the um, I forgot which site on X or Twitter or whatever. They post old game highlights and they posted like a six yard carry by like Craig Davis or something. And it's awesome. They're like, just this calls. This that guy that takes me back. Him and Kent Pavelka. A A Treasures. Run. Yes, they Nick, if you get a chance, man, listen to some old live. Oh, I've, I've heard Lyle. Yeah, yeah, man. I've heard him. Amazing. Amazing. Ken Pavelka, another one. I mean, Homer, of course, but man, some great calls. Stone Crabs and the Miami Hurricanes on January 1st in the Orange Bowl. Got it! <laughs> Kent Pavelka. <laughs> got it! Be, 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 got got it! Ring. <laughs> touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Tommy Frazier. <laughs> he kind of never said the R. He just kind of was with the Joe Frazier. 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 Scoring for the Huskers. Troy and Lincoln says, Nick, did you talk nonstop behind the dish? You always did. Like in Major League. Did you talk a lot? Oh, Nick? Smack I, I had Nick. a lot of I had a lot of conversations with the umpire. Because I worried about I needed a good relationship with the umpire each game. <laughs> so that we'd get the we'd get a little bit larger of a strike zone for the pitchers. How's the wife and kid, Don? <laughs> there was there was one john good to see you again glad you're behind the plate <laughs> the umpire's he, like, he, he always go i bet you are nick i bet you are, I bet you are <laughs> this kid's only 16 asking about my wife and kids <laughs> <laughs> hey an unknown texter 1000 says you guys forgot about uh our own uh own nuri Everyone butchered his name. How did you pronounce his last name? It's Nuri Nuili. Nuri Nuili. Nuri Nuili. Nuri Nuili. Nuri Nuili. Nuili. Got a couple cool new, new tattoos you got to ask him about on the shows, guys. Okay, speaking of tattoos, I, I've been debating getting one. I don't have a single tattoo. Is that right, AD? And I'm thinking, text line, let me know, should I should I get a tattoo, yes or no? Yes. What do you think, Ralph? Yes. What do you think, Nick? If you got something that means enough to you. That's that. that it, I was gonna put. Tattoo. I was gonna put. You know, Raph and Sanert on it. Well, well I, mean, I, I, I would say, understand why. After not being in his favorite golf group, I don't think we're gonna earn a tattoo. Make the cut. <laughs> but not I, even make close. The cut. I said. <laughs> All right, we get it. You're a golf guy. I get it. I said you. I said not even close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I but now you want to put a tattoo. I, 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 I might have to find the clip of that. I, did I, I did I say not even close? I think I did say not even close. Oh, you said not even close. I uh, during the break, I will find it. Yeah, that was awesome. I will I'm, find I, it. You know, but those that's my. I mean, those are, those are my flesh and blood, though, man. Yeah, those, those are my guys. I, yes. If I had it, but if I had a choice to golf with them or you, I would probably you, take them too. You take the boys. You take <laughs> not the boys. even well, close. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, I believe. Uh oh. We we may we may have a guest on the uh, Honda of Lincoln Hotline. Hey, it's Coach Matthew Taylor, man, how we doing? Fellas? There it is, Matt. What's up, man? Good morning. Hey, hey, hey! I just wanted to I just wanted to call and give a shout out to Nick, man. I uh, I know I haven't talked to Rapper AD since Nick came down to the Murray Custom Homes office, but man, we spent about an hour laying down a podcast about Nick's journey, life, <laughs> um, path where he got to where he is today. <laughs> And I know that the listeners think, you know, it's kind of like WWE, sports entertainment. You guys do radio entertainment. Mm -hmm. The rift between Raph and Nick is hilarious. <laughs> and, man, he talks about glowing reviews for you, Raph. Glowing reviews. <laughs> I don't remember that part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I just wanted to thank you, Nick, man. I know, oh, I know you're pleasure. probably one of the craziest 
busiest dudes down there. So, man, thank you for taking the time to come down, man. Well, I appreciate you guys asking me to come down. And it, it was a good time, Matt. Always a good time. And uh, no, nah, yes, not sir. busy enough. Not busy enough. So we're good. So, Thanks, Matt. Well, I think they got Waverly this weekend. So good luck to the good luck, squad coach. this weekend. Rapid. Hey, dude, your boy Coach Bugs got the first win of the year. First win of the season last night at Waverly. 10-1, to 1, man. We mm. got it done. There we go. Congratulations. All right, fellas. Hey, enjoy the day. Crush the day. Love you, fellas, and uh, appreciate everything you do. You See you later. Have a good weekend. Matt, love you and appreciate you, man. Thanks for calling in, and congrats. Uh, con- uh, best of luck to you this year as well. Real fast, as we're going to break, in 1987, 51st U.S. Masters Tournament, Augusta National, Larry Mize chips in from 140 feet <laughs> for an improbable birdie three-on-two playoff hole to beat Greg Norman for his only major title. And Greg Norman had to actually get a ticket off the second-hand market when you are to get into the Masters after the Live Tournament. After That's the live true. merger, man. Yeah. They looked at him like, no, nah, you're anathema to us right now. You're dead to us. But right he said now. he's super popular there this yeah. week. People are yeah. walking up and oh, he's a shark, man. He's yeah. a shark. It was business. All right. Well, we got a guest. All yes, right. We do. Should we should we tell or should we surprise? We'll surprise. You surprise. definitely want to stick around, folks. You right. definitely want to stick around. Follow my Twitter, you already know. No, <laughs> Chris Rouse Seven. No. Right. Go out to break. <laughs> this is the drive. 93.7 the ticket. <laughs> The Double the Saving Sales event is happening now through April 22nd at Bonds All Pool and Spa. During this event, buyers can take advantage of up to $1,500 in savings and receive 0% APR for 60 months. Visit the Bonds All Pool and Spa showroom at 33rd and Pioneers or visit their website at bondsallpool.com to learn more about their hot tub sale. Act fast because this offer ends soon. Bonds All Pool and Spa, every day made better. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Problem gambling affects millions of Americans daily of all ages and walks of life. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24 hour helpline at 402 476 2300. That's 402 476 2300. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 20 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. This is James Harrell with NP Dodge Real Estate. When I became a licensed realtor, I wanted a brokerage that would help me grow in my new career. I found that in Lincoln First Realty. When Lincoln First was acquired by NP Dodge, the training and support I received only got better. I love knowing I have the power of the NP Dodge brand behind me. I would recommend NP Dodge to new agents looking to jumpstart their real estate career and to current agents who want to take their business to the next level. Expand your career with NP Dodge. Call Eric at 402-434-2222. Take your internet service to new levels with Allo, your award-winning internet provider across our fiber hoods. Allo isn't just about the fastest internet available. It's about connecting you to your world, work, and play seamlessly. Our award-winning service ensures affordable, secure, and reliable connectivity, setting us apart. Ready to transform your internet experience? Experience the fiber difference today. Sign up now at allofiber.com. Allo, connecting your world. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in April. Try their brand new cake batter cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. And try the caramel latte as 10% of proceeds from that drink will go to the Foundation for Lincoln Public Schools. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Join us each Saturday from 11 a.m. to noon for Youth Football 101 with Tank Perry of the Nebraska Red Wolves of 7-on-7 Football. The future of the sport depends on the foundation set at a young age. Hear those stories and more each Saturday from 11 a.m. to noon here on 93.7 The Ticket. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl Jordan with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. 
Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. Ready to upgrade your combine in 2024? The team at Landmark Implement is here to help find the right combine to fit your operations needs. Choose from 4.9% for up to 60 months or a 12-month interest waiver, followed by John Deere financial rates with approved credit through the end of April. When you purchase a pre-owned S or X series combine from Landmark, know you are backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network with mobile techs and parts drop-off points to keep you up and running. View our current inventory online at LandmarkImp.com or stop by your local Landmark to experience the Landmark difference. Happy hour. I want to talk about the uh, master's menu breakfast. Master's blend fresh brewed coffee, a chicken biscuit, a breakfast sandwich. So that's breakfast. It's sandwiches, egg salad sandwich, pimento cheese sandwich, a pork barbecue sandwich. If you have like a loose 20 in your pocket and you go to PBA for a basketball game, you're getting french fries and water. Like that's it. So if you have $68, you can buy one of everything on the menu. $68 gets you one of everything on this master's concession menu. On uh, 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth. 93.7 The Ticket. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0, and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Raff. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches college football history we may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight 12 year nfl veteran he's got some speed to go with strength huskers and green bay packers hall of famer shovel pass to green into vikings territory finally brought down and university of nebraska esports coach amon green look at green all by himself 20 10 touchdown Sponsored by Doors Plus on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Friday. We got a big weekend ahead. Not only do we got the Masters, but tomorrow night, Pinnacle Bank Arena, we got the PBR in town, and we have a special guest right now. We have Larry the Cable Guy. Good morning, Mr. Cable Guy. And when you think of bulls and bull riding, you immediately move your eyes and thoughts to Larry the Cable Guy. The <laughs> <laughs> hey. First of all, it's always nice to call and talk to the station and, and speak to all the accomplished individuals and, uh, and Chris. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> but this between you and AD, I tell you, Eric, you're uh, an inspiration, boys, to people like me that never finished high school. And I just wanted to tell you, I love you. <laughs> I love you, DW. I love you too, buddy. I appreciate you. I was, I was gonna tell you something. I was gonna say it to you, but I, I decided not. When you called me yesterday, I'm just, just, just gonna say yeah. I was on the porcelain. I was on the porcelain um, uh, palace. So. <laughs> That's why I was kind of quick with you I on the thought, phone. I thought you sounded a little, little strained and sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did. <laughs> and then I wake up this but, morning. What time did you go? First of all, dude, what time did you go to bed this morning? I go to bed very late. I probably went to bed at three o'clock. <laughs> I woke up, dude, I woke up at five 30. I was like, who texted me? I see your text at one fifty-two in the morning. <laughs> Time. I'm sitting around about two in the morning. I ain't gonna text AD. <laughs> <laughs> that dummy's never home. I can never get a hold of. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, Dan, brother, appreciate you, man, for taking the time. We know you got to want to respect. You got you have another one coming up. Tell us about what you have going on this weekend, <clears throat> my man. 
Yeah, this is pretty fun. Let me just say, for uh, years, I was involved early on in my career because I was always a big fan of bull riding and rodeo. My daughter is trying to learn how to team rope and, and break away rope. And, and my little, and, well, anyway, uh, my buddy Tater Porter was a bull rider down in Florida. So I sponsored uh, Tater Porter and the professional bull riders many years ago. And then I had a rodeo team. And I had some people in the national finals. They had to get her done shirts. And, and I owned some bulls. I co owned some bulls with Jeff Robinson out of North Carolina. It was just a fun hobby to do. I really loved it because I loved the sport. And then, uh, uh, when Brandon Crick started playing golf, you know, him and I were really good buddies. So, you know, I kind of, uh, I kind of pulled some of my money out of there and I wanted to sponsor Brandon and do that because now I'm in the golf. As you can tell, I enjoy mm-hmm. golf as well. So that was always a fun thing to do. Uh, well, now my boy started trying to learn how to bull ride and, I went down to the PBR and I worked their 30th anniversary deal. And then I just, man, I got sucked to the back end. (laughs) (laughs) I wouldn't say suckered. I love it. So I ended up getting me some more bulls, getting more involved in the PBR again. And by golly, uh, we're going to, we're bringing a PBR velocity tour to Lincoln because there's a lot of bull riding fans here. And this is always a fun thing to go to. I mean, it was a great night out. So Saturday night, we're doing the professional bull riders velocity tour. Uh, these are guys that are uh, accomplished bull riders. It's kind of like uh, Corn Ferry and, and PGA. These guys are the best of the best trying to get into the other best of the best, you know? And, uh, Ed Knight Caminas, who's been bucking forever. I mean, he's a, he's a world champ. He's going to be there. So there's some really good accomplished bull riders going to be in it. And, uh, yeah, it's coming to Lincoln. And I have a bull. I'm bringing it down. Uh, I got a bull uh, named Mr. Cooley, <laughs> who has been in the PBR for a while. He's 47 and 2. Hey. And he's he's good. And I won a I won a buckle one time. I had bull of the year in two thousand eight with a bull called Chicken on a Chain in two thousand seven, two thousand eight, something like that. I'm getting old and I can't remember one or two years. And anyway, so I I think I might have another one on my hands. He's pretty good. His name's Mr. Cooley, he's the bounty bull. So whoever wins the event Saturday night, uh gets your, uh they can ride Mr. Cooley if they want to. It's a bounty bull for ten thousand dollars. So I uh, I'm pretty sure they can attempt to ride him. He's only been ridden twice in forty forty nine outs. Wow. And uh, uh uh yeah, so or in forty seven outs. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun and he's really cool. I posted if you go on uh if you go on Facebook if you go on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter, I have posted some pictures of him and we let him out stretch his legs yesterday and and have a little, and uh, <laughs> and let him run around a little bit last night. And one of my buddies uh, thought he was funny and he missed the kid. He missed the kid, and he went over there and pretty much tossed him over the fence. <laughs> <laughs> so I I wasn't sure when you when you go out and do your conditioning, you don't run out over there and just have him chase you around for a little bit. No, I pretty much steer clear. I will say though. Some of these, it depends on who it is. Like I said, he likes girls. So, <laughs> I mean, the girls can just walk up and, hey, what's that, Mr. Cooley? And put on that charm. I walk up, hey, what's that, Mr. Cooley? And, you know, next thing I know, I'm on the, I'm on the porcelain, porcelain deal just like he did. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I tell you what, though, fellas, it's a fun thing to do. I, I love being involved in it. I mean, it's just a fun hobby for me. Uh, but being around rodeo ever since I was a kid, it's just a fun thing to do. I love it, and, and uh, I, I love everything about it. But it's, you know, it's uh, it's a tough to sport on dirt, that's for sure. So, yeah, I, I, we want to get a nice big crowd down there and show the PBR. You should come to Lincoln more often because we've got a lot of, we got a lot of fans that like doing stuff like that. So, got a good chance to get a crowd, too. I don't think uh, football season doesn't start for a while. Volleyball doesn't pick up for a while. I think, I don't know if, uh, hopefully, hopefully the baseball game's in the afternoon, but I think we should do pretty good. Absolutely. 
Jen, tell us Unless this. Chris Raff's putting on a, you know, golf clinic somewhere. I would do it. I would do it earlier in the morning, so we'll be good to go tomorrow night. <laughs> Dan, let me ask you this, man. With uh, what, what got your son involved with it? When, was, when, when did you find out that he had a kind of an itch for bull riding? Well, you know, uh, I never thought he'd want to do something like that. He was a little kid, you know. I took him to all PBRs and stuff. But one day he said he just wanted to start riding. So here's the thing about bull riding. It's a dangerous sport. It's mm-hmm. a great sport. Um, I like it because uh, it gives it gives it, it lets you know who you are as a as, as a man. You know, it gives you confidence in life. It, it does a lot of things for a lot of people. Because if, if you've got the mindset to get on one of those animals and try to do that, there's a lot of things that you can accomplish. And a lot of kids don't do a lot of stuff anymore. Mm-hmm. Stay in the house, they don't do anything. I heard a fellow one time talking on, on uh, the radio. He said, uh, there's a lot, a lot of kids are scared to leave the house. They're scared to right. do this, scared to do that. Not because they're scared to do it. A lot of kids want to do things, but mm-hmm. a lot of helicopter parents. Yep. And the only reason they don't do stuff is because their parents are scared to let them do something. Right. And I didn't want to be like that. So as long as uh, your kids want to, want to do something, I mean, it could be anything. I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there that's, you know, I mean, shoot football and, and snowboarding and, mm-hmm. and, and, uh, I mean, you think of it, how many sports are there that are pretty dangerous? A lot of them. Right. Uh, but you know, you don't know if you can do it or not if you, unless you try. So anyway, he just said that he loves it and he really wants to try. So here's the thing about it. You start out small and throughout the course, you gradually move up. People riding these professional bulls, they are skilled athletes mm-hmm. and power and strong upper bodied athletes and they're able to handle it. They're taught how to they're taught shoot procedure. They're taught how to get off. Uh if you ride. Those are the two most dangerous aspects of it. Mm-hmm. When people watch bull riding, they always want to watch the wreck. So they'll go in the video tape and they'll you know, so they think every single guy that comes out, but that's not the case. You know, you're definitely going to get hurt. It's a sport where you're going to, you know, hurt, you break your ankle or, or bust up your knee or uh, something like that. Um, so it's, uh, but you, you know, you just, you learn, you learn from professionals and you'll find out real quick. If that's, that's what we did. I, uh, Cody Lambert that started the PBR is one of the best bull riders in the world. I told him my kid wanted to try to do it. How big is he? I said, he's right now. He's five, six, a buck and a quarter. Mm-hmm. And he said, oh, he's right in the wheelhouse. He says, I thought he was going to be a fat guy like you. And I was going to tell him, no. <laughs> Dude, you ain't going to see me on. But anyway, he, he literally said, he says, well, bring him down here. I took him down to Bowie Cactus. At his facility, he says, bring him down, give him, give him to me for three days, and we'll find out if he wants to bull ride or not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much what he said. And he went down there, and they went through drills and obstacle courses. And and he looked at me, and he, he when I went down to pick him up, he said, hey, man. He goes, just uh, he's got he's got a lot of talent, got a lot of upper body strength. He goes, uh yeah, he uh, just had him keep working. So you start on steers. You start on steers. Mm-hmm. And then you start moving up slowly. There's different levels and different types of stock. And you just start slow, and you learn. And when you're when you're starting slow, there's still an element of danger, of course, because it's an animal. But, man, it's, you know, when I was a kid, when, when we were kids, I'd ride on the farm, you know, you hop on a steer, and you ride it around, then you fall off. That's pretty much... You're learning your balance at, when you first start. You're learning your balance. You're learning uh, how to keep your head down, stare in one spot on the on the on the animal, and that's that's basically it. So, not to get too technical with you, it's a fun, it's a really fun sport. He loves it. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But uh, that uh, Saturday night, you'll see the super professionals down there and see and. When you watch them ride, you're like, man, how in the world do they? Mm-hmm. But, you know, they got good upper body strength and they got good balance. That's right. what it takes. And those guys have been on hundreds and hundreds of of uh, animals. And so they know what they're doing. That's the, that's the, so that's how you start out. That's pretty much it. 
So, uh, I mean, I couldn't do it. My upper body strength. I went, I tried an obstacle. The last time I was on an obstacle course, a bouncer chased me up the stripper pole. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, stick to, I'll stick to golf. That's what I'll do. <laughs> it's a lot easier. Well, Chubby, one of our texters, Chubby Rhino, good morning to you, man. Chubby Rhino says, I'll be at PBR in the 200 level. Uh, Dan, how do people find out how to get more tickets? Are there a website? Where would they go to learn more about the event? Yeah, they can go to the uh, they can go to the uh, PBR uh, Velocity. Uh, go go to go to the PBR. Uh, uh, the main place to get it right now that, that I know of just called the Pinnacle Bank Arena. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And the Pinnacle Bank Arena will have it. I'm sure if you go on the Professional Bull Rider site, uh, they'll have a link to it. Or just you know, man, everybody's been going the internet, type in. Uh, Professional bull riders, Lincoln, Nebraska. You know, pay to get tickets. Yep. Let me tell you, if you don't know how to look something up now and get tickets for something, then you shouldn't be allowed out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I seriously, I mean, like, hey, hey, hey Chris, like back. Then, I mean, you want there was only one or two ways to get tickets, and you had to, you know, you didn't have a phone, and you, you, there was no cell phones. And we've got tickets, all kinds of stuff. So nowadays, you can't, you know, you can walk outside and go to the bathroom off the porch and there'll be something there where you can order tickets for something. <laughs> I mean, ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this. We got the Masters going on, of course. Mm -hmm. And Tiger, if Tiger, let's take a bet. If Tiger starts playing bad, is he going to fake an injury and stop or keep going? Mm. Or just play and have fun and go, well, I'll just have a good time. Because I always notice this, and I like Tiger Woods. I'm not real on Tiger. I like Tiger, but I've always noticed this about Tiger. Plays good, then he starts playing bad, then you can see he's got kind of a limp. Mm -hmm. And then you won't. Then they won't show him for an hour, and then the next thing you see, they show him out in the parking lot walking like <laughs> Drake from San Francisco. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you know, I, I hope I just want to make it to the weekend. If he makes it to the weekend, it'll be fun. If he makes it to the weekend, hey, Dan, Dan, I want to ask you this real quick, man. At one of your events, I'm gonna let Raph close this out. First of all, I'm gonna say this real quick because we have a 9:30 coming up. Uh, not this week, but following week. If you're not traveling, I'll hit you up because we got to get on the course. Because I don't know next week I'm traveling. Are you traveling next week too? I am. You know what? I'm playing in the uh, uh, the invited uh, senior pro am thing down there, at Las Colinas. Okay, you're laying Las Colinas. Me and Raff are playing Holmes Lake. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice story. That's similar, a nice story. similar, <laughs> similar to Hilly. You know. I want to ask. Hey, I want to ask you this real quick, man. Um, what? And then Raff is going to close this out. Where? What is Bo Weekly doing now? Man? Bo Weekly. What is he doing right now? Man, Boo's awesome. Every, I run into Boo every now and then on those uh, corn ferries. You know, mm -hmm. he's still out there. Boo's a great golfer. But here's the thing about Boo. Uh, Boo does it because it's fun. If Boo feels like going out and golfing, he'll go out and golf. He's got status in certain places. Um, he's 50 now, so I think you might see Boo show up in, uh, at some of these senior events. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, you know, he's... Uh, He's he's uh, living life and enjoying being married and the whole deal. He was a fun dude to play with. I played. Uh, we were at your event back in the day, and I was talking to him in the clubhouse with Eric Crouch, and he was telling me the story. I think I told you this. He was playing golf with some buddies quite a bit one weekend, and then he went and played in a PGA event, and he hit the ball. He put it, and it was like a pickup. He actually picked up his ball, and he forgot he was in a PGA event. <laughs> Not a gimme. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he went out and played with his friends for three days to get ready for it. And his, fir his first hole, he knocked it to like a half a foot and went up and picked it up. <laughs> See, what are you doing? He was, hey, hey, dude, he was fun to play with. Yes, he was. I mean. I'm going to see if, you know, I get him in my golf tournament every now and then. I'm going to see if he wants to come up and play it again this year now that you bring it up. Yeah. I mean, I just hadn't asked him in a while because he was, you know, he had some health issues with his leg. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, that'd be fun. Maybe I'll see if he'll come up and play in our deal again. That'd be good. Nice. Raph, take us home. 
All right, brother. Well, we'll let you get on with the rest of your day, everyone, this weekend, Saturday, PBA for the PBR. All right. Thanks yeah. again for being on the show today. It'll be fun, man. You got that. Y'all come out. You will love it. It's a great time. If you've never seen it, if you have seen it, then you know what I'm talking about. Danny, appreciate you, brother. Safe travels to you, brother. You too. Love you guys. Love you. Take care. You bet. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in April. Try their brand new cake batter cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. And try the caramel latte as 10% of proceeds from that drink will go to the Foundation for Lincoln Public Schools. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. This is James Harrell with NP Dodge Real Estate. When I became a licensed realtor, I wanted a brokerage that would help me grow in my new career. I found that in Lincoln First Realty. When Lincoln First was acquired by NP Dodge, the training and support I received only got better. I love knowing I have the power of the NP Dodge brand behind me. I would recommend NP Dodge to new agents looking to jumpstart their real estate career and to current agents who want to take their business to the next level. Expand your career with NP Dodge. Call Eric at 402-434-2222. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job, it's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour, with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits, plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to continentaljobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl Jordan with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. Buckle up and hang on. This is going to be a good one. The fans of Kansas Speedway know how to have a good time. One that celebrates fantastic finishes and family-friendly facilities. Trading paint. We got beauty. And tailgating tradition. Burnouts, beer, and barbecue. Oh, it'll for sure be a good time. And you are all invited. NASCAR weekend at Kansas Speedway, May 4th and 5th. Get your tickets now at kansasspeedway.com. Southeast Community College invites you to check out our spaces ahead of your official campus visit. Our virtual campus tours let you see our campuses and learn more about our programs of study. Then you can schedule your individual visit in person or virtually. Virtual tours of our campuses in Beatrice, Lincoln, or Milford and our learning centers are online at southeast.edu slash visit SCC. SCC, your path to possible. You don't think about your roof very often, but you should never take it for granted. Roofing Service Company takes every measure to provide you with the highest quality roofing solution. Whether it's a new roof installation, roof repair, or a re-roofing project, their overall goal is to provide you with a pleasant experience and a long-lasting roof. If you have a need for siding or gutters, they're your place too. Visit RoofingServiceCompany.com for more info today. 
Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, Garage Doors, and more. Old School with DP and J. So I knew that it was a crapshoot with the grown up professional at the highest level. Who's going to bet? I don't know whether the starting center's girlfriend broke up with him, whether his parents have, have groceries that week. I don't know whether his roommate and him had a fight. So why would I, one, why would I want to bet on that? Uh, 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7. The Ticket Hour 2 is proudly sponsored by Doors Plus. If your garage door needs maintenance or you need an entirely new garage door, give Cameron Hall and his team a call today at 402-590-5800. Doors Plus is locally owned and handles everything from residential or commercial garage doors, garage door openers, safety tune-ups, or custom design. Visit DoorsPlusLLC.com to learn more. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Like that, Ralph. Well Thank done. you. Well done. Breaking, Breaking news. news. Go ahead, AD. I'll let you take no, this you one. Go ahead. You get it, brother. Are you, you sure? Ahead. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so this comes from Mitch Sherman of The Athletic. Mitch. Um, and this, don't forget, this also comes about a week and a half or so mm-hmm. after it was announced that Nebraska, the University of Nebraska, Lincoln, and Nebco, who owns the Saw Dogs, could not come to an agreement on the split partnership of alcohol sales at Haymarket Park. Well, for those that don't know, there was a Board of Regents meeting earlier today. Mm -hmm. And this comes from Mitch Sherman. It says, alcohol sales at Haymarket Park for Husker baseball and softball games. Kaborik and new Husker Athletic Director Troy Dannon have reached an agreement with NEBCO, which jointly owns Haymarket Park with the university, for revenue sharing if the board approves alcohol sales. Under the agreement, all revenues from alcohol sales would be reinvested back into the Haymarket Park Stadium, which is over 20 years old and in need of capital improvements. Kaborik noted that there have been no significant alcohol-related fan incidents at other Husker events at which alcohol has been permitted, including men's and women's basketball games at PBA, Volleyball Day in Nebraska, and the Big Ten Wrestling Championships. The university is committed to investing in alcohol awareness programs for students. He said, quote, this is about improving the fan experience, Kaborik said. We do not make recommendations related to alcohol lightly, but our teams have shown that we can responsibly provide this amenity that our fans have been asking for and that almost all of our peers offer. I'm very pleased that we have reached this positive outcome with NEBCO, and we couldn't be more grateful to continue the University of Nebraska's wonderful partnership with the Abel family and the entire Nebco team. Dannon said this, quote, this is a win for our fans, Husker Athletics, and the University of Nebraska. Not only does this added fan amenity bring in line with national trends, bring Nebraska in line with national trends, but it gives us an opportunity to make much needed investments that will make our facilities more competitive. All of us at Husker Athletics thank Jack and Jim Abel and the NEBCO team for their support and partnership and look forward to continuing our strong working relationship. Here's the big one, folks. If approved by the board on April 19th, which is a week from today, alcohol sales would be permitted at Husker events at Haymarket Park effective immediately. There you have it. Nick, I wanted you to to elaborate on and read that because you, you you had a very passionate 
about a week and a half ago about yeah. that. Well, because I mean, with all seriousness, because the amount, because you think about it, to bring a regional here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You imagine the amount of money you're missing out on. I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting to the debates of, you know, pro alcohol. I'm just simply saying from a business perspective. Yeah. You know, that could be one reason it's like, yeah, no. Yeah. Like you mentioned, like, when you were talking about it a week and a half ago, they're going to tailgate someplace. They're going to be in their car and the park yeah. before they get there is going to be inside. Yeah. So you might as well make that money. It's an easy money maker for stadium renovation. Easy money. I, I love that the idea that they're they're going to make it and put it back into Haymarket Park because yep. the the field the field is one of the best in in the country. Yep. Um, and, and they win awards year after year for it. Mm -hmm. But I, I'd be interested to see like updates to the Gordon Complex, right? I, I'd for for baseball and softball. I'd be interested to see updating seats, updating dugouts, updating concession yep. stands. There are things that need to be done. Sky boxes in the outfield. Well, yeah, or or actual seats in the outfield. Like, what do you? How how can they make it? Excuse me, more yeah. big time baseball feel. Exactly. And, and I, I like, yes, you're not going to lose. I, I like. I think Husker fans may be worried that they may lose the intimate feel of college baseball because they're going to say, "Look at the College World Series. They move it to TD Ameritrade Park. It's much more of a business." And it's much more uh, of what it feels like uh, less intimacy with the college baseball game. Yeah. Well, it, it, that, that might just naturally happen eventually. I think um, this provides an opportunity, hypothetically speaking, if Nebraska does host a regional, you're more than likely going to get another power conference team here. Mm -hmm. And you want their fan experience to be just as good as your fan experiences every single game, every single weekend. Yep. And in the Southeastern Conference and the SEC, a big part of that's alcohol. Nebraska doesn't have to have it like Ole Miss or Mississippi State or, or Arkansas where they chuck the beers and they, they yeah. throw them up in the air. You don't have to have that. Yeah. You just have to have this optional amenity. Yeah. If you don't want to participate, don't participate. Right. And, and no hard feelings there. But for the ones that, hey, you know what? They're okay with spending nine bucks a beer? Okay, go ahead. Because guess what? Then you're investing that in your athletes as well, yep, exactly. which yeah, is only going to include added talent. Yep. Salt Dog, I mean, Salt Dog Stadium is 20 years old, man. They, they, yeah. they, they need some revamps going also, on over there. Also, I mean, here's the deal. Let, let's talk about promotional nights too, right? Oh, like, man. like that, that's ways to draw people out to the yes, ballpark. They, they draw great crowds, and this is just the case yep. when the Lincoln Stars do do the two dollar beer night, when yep. the Lincoln Salt Dogs do Tall Boy Tuesday or whatever it is. Like things like that sell, yes. and things like that will bring people to the ballpark initially and the baseball if it's a good product will yep. get them to come back well you think about it within within every entity whether it's an athletics or a business there's always hidden verticals in a business that was a vertical a profit center Absolutely. that has been untapped yep. uh, on both sides and so i'm glad they they went to the table uh troy dannon athletic director troy dannon obviously kaboric and the board of directors and and, and coming together this kudos to everybody paul nebco Board of Directors, Board of Regents, yeah. Athletic Department uh, to come together and get this thing done because, like I said, that's a profit center that could be I, extremely profitable. You think about the branding on the glasses and sponsorship bingo. opportunities on the glasses, on the cups. I mean, that is that. And, and think about that. The return on the investment. You're not. You're not doing anything. Well, can, can you we, already have the. Yeah. Cable, you already have the spouts and the Everything's capabilities there. Yeah, all the taps it's, are installed. The taps are already Use installed. It. So there's no. Um, there's very. I can't say none. Very little. That you're gonna kick in to get it started because you yep. already do it anyway. Yep. So right now you have a very, very uh uh healthy profit yeah. center that's just been sitting I, there. I, I mean, let's I mean, let's let's just be honest. Also, uh, there's something to be said about grabbing a beer and a hot dog and watching baseball. Mm -hmm. There's just something to be said about it. I just saw Nick's eyes twinkle. Well, see, see, that. and and there'll be there most of the games I'm I'm there as a media guy, so I will not be partaking, but there are those days. There, there will be those days yeah. that it's like, you know what? If if this does end up getting approved by the board, which I don't see a reason why, yeah. um, especially when you're talking about investing into the facilities mm -hmm. um, specifically, I, I, I just think that there's there's a nostalgia feeling. There's a, a more so than even at a basketball game where it's, you know what? It's a 95 degree day. Let me crack open a bush light yep. and a hot dog. And let me watch some baseball. It's like Sanderson said here. Good morning to you, brother. He goes, I no longer drink, but a beer at a baseball game is just like apple pie at Chevrolet. There it is. It's America and always should be a thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, downtown Scott, what's up, brother? He goes, Nick, I thought you were like 16. That's why I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> Hate it. Well, for this last segment, before we go to our break, oh, guys, we got we got other breaking news, too. 
Oh, yes, indeed. Go ahead, Rafi. There has been some puffs of blue smoke coming from Rupp Arena this morning. Mm-hmm. Kentucky the Pope. has found a new coach. Yes. They've got the Pope, Mark Pope from BYU, the new Kentucky head basketball Let me ask coach. you to this. If you're a Kentucky fan, what are your feelings right now? <laughs> you just hired Mike Riley. No, just- <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this. I think I think when you look at Kentucky and and specifically with Mark Pope, uh, one of those that I would have I would have viewed as available any time, at any point you could have gone and taken Mark Pope away from from BYU. Mm-hmm. Um, Austin said it perfectly earlier this week. Like we wanted to see a blue blood flex their muscles. And we didn't. They didn't flex. They didn't flex it really. They tried. They they, they tried. They they, they they tried with Scott Drew. He Hurley. said no because of Chip Gaines and and God. Hurley. And then you had you tried with Danny Hur- Dan Hurley, and he said no because he even mentioned you know they could offer him twenty mil a year, and he would say no. Mm-hmm. And they didn't wait to even have conversations with Billy Donovan. So Billy Donovan, the the, the Bulls, the Bulls season's about to be done in just a yeah. couple of weeks, and that's my point. Yeah, is if Billy Donovan was was one of the guys that Mitch Barnhart, who's the Kentucky athletic director, may have actually wanted to have a conversation with, either impatient or there was pressure to get it done soon and fast or whatever the case may be, because within the next couple of weeks before the playoffs start, I mean, the Bulls are done. The Bulls aren't making the playoffs. So Billy Donovan's going to be done coaching here soon. And if you wanted his full and undivided attention and ability to to, to evaluate Mm -hmm. truthfully, well, then you just got to be patient a couple of weeks. Maybe the boosters didn't want that. Because as we know, guys, they go out, they steal Mark Pope away, take him away from BYU. Not necessarily a Power 5 institution. I mean, they are because they'll be in the Big 12, but not necessarily a, a, a blue blood flexing their muscles and taking away somebody from Baylor or from UConn like it could have been. Or Alabama. Or Alabama. And, and instead of that, they're paying him $5.5 million a year for five years, which would have made him the sixth highest paid coach in college basketball this last season. Um, he's a guy that has zero NCAA tournament wins. He had he his recruiting class now. Granted, at BYU, a little different, was rated 67th in the country. This is a Kentucky program that, for the last since 2009, has not had a class outside of the top five. They've right. only had one that's not rated mm-hmm. one or two in the country. Um, once again, it, it, from from my standpoint, it feels like somebody that whether it was on April 12th or May 16th, you were going to be able to go grab him. You know, when I was in Lexington a couple weeks back, they were saying, um, we're going to get us a good one. Yeah, He's going to be big. It's going to be a big splash. Grass ain't always greener. It's not always greener, man. And I'm, 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 I just, I, as, and I told the guy I was talking with part of the PGA, he has, uh, runs a golf club down there. And I said, I'm telling you from personal experience <laughs> as a fan base in Nebraska, be careful what you ask for. Been there, done that. I mean, um, it was, oof. I wish him the best. Wish him the best. And you know what? You never know. But I, I, I'm, I'm it, sure in, in, in Lexington, they're not they're not doing backflips right well, now. Well, here's the deal. It, it feels a lot like the Scott Frost situation. They right? said who? Night. Well, it's he's he's a former <laughs> he's a former Wildcat himself, 1996 national champion on that team, and the way that they are pitching this to their boosters is it's a former Kentucky Wildcat who knows the landscape, knows the pressures, knows the job. Um, and also knows what it takes to win here at, or there at Kentucky. So he feels like they, they, that's how he's pitching to the boosters. They, they've confirmed that two boosters have come forward by themselves and have pitched 4 million to their NIL for this year. Huh. So there's some NIL support there. Now it's just a matter of if he's going to be able to draw the talent to Lexington or if he's going to be able to, to win when it comes time in November. Be interesting. We shall see. They shall see. I'm sure they many of them were like us in Nebraska when they came across the ESPN ticker. Nebraska hires Oregon State's Mike Riley. Who? They may not have done as much to me. A little bit be, more being, being that, that he, he was played a, he played him. there. So, but the, even like even a Frost situation, Frost was like the hottest name in college football. Mm-hmm. And so it wasn't like wasn't a shocker. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Wasn't well, a shot. I, mean, I meant more so for like the hometown oh, yeah, yeah. comeback. He, won, he, wins, he wins a national championship with the yep. team in He's 96. A, yeah, and, I'm coming home. Well, Raph, in, a, in some situation, it is like a Scott Frost in that he was part of a national championship yeah. team. Obviously, he didn't have the uh, the fanfare in the uh, in the, the name yeah. that Frost has, but there's going to be some pressure, brother. Oh, yeah. He, he, he yeah. better succeed. Yeah. He better succeed. 
All right, well, we'll we'll throw it to break. This is The Drive, 93.7, The Ticket. 93.7, The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, we'll see lots of sunshine and light winds. Should be a beautiful day with a high around 70. Tonight, clear skies and a light breeze with a low around 47. And tomorrow, we'll see increasing clouds with a breezy but warm and a high around 84. I'm meteorologist Kyle Tucker for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Ready to upgrade your combine in 2024? The team at Landmark Implement is here to help find the right combine to fit your operations needs. Choose from 4.9% for up to 60 months or a 12-month interest waiver, followed by John Deere financial rates with approved credit through the end of April. When you purchase a pre-owned S or X series combine from Landmark, know you are backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network with mobile techs and parts drop-off points to keep you up and running. View our current inventory online at LandmarkImp.com or stop by your local Landmark to experience the Landmark difference. This is Coach Bill Bush. You all know my passion for Nebraska. Having coached all over the country, I can honestly say there is no place like Nebraska. You know where there's also no place like? Midwest Bank. Midwest Bank has proudly served Nebraska for over 70 years, and they're located in nine different communities. Midwest Bank is ready, willing, and able to meet all your personal, business, and agriculture needs. Your community, your bank, and mine, Midwest Bank. Find out more at Midwest Bank. Member F-D-I-C. Hey, Nebraska. Register today for the 40th annual Cornhusker State Games, taking place July 11th through the 21st in Lincoln, Omaha, and other Nebraska communities. The Cornhusker State Games features 70 sports for athletes of all ages and abilities. Price increases are approaching, so register early and save. For details, go to CornhuskerStateGames.com. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel with Gatorade. Brought to you by Pepsi Cola of Lincoln, a proud partner of the Cornhusker State Games. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Couple. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online line at couplecars.com you'll be glad you did all deals with approved credit your home is your empire protect it with empire fence get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com see an upfront estimate with no hidden fees an empire fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home keep kids and pets in or out of your yard increase security and add value to your property visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote let empire fence protect your empire nutrition authority invites you to try anarchy which is an exciting free workout for athletes and fitness enthusiasts who want the most out of the workout anarchy can only be found at nutrition authority remember when you want results the solution is simple nutrition authority stop in call or check us out at mynutritionauthority.com hey husker nation matt davison here with 1890 It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student-athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Lincoln, you wanted more sweet and spice in your life, and now you've got it. At Wings and Rings, their brand new hot honey has all of Lincoln buzzing. Try their one-of-a-kind house-made sauce on the brand new hot honey chicken sandwich or their hot honey shrimp and slaw. And of course you can get it on the traditional, boneless, or smoked wings that have made Wings and Rings your go-to neighborhood spot. Hot honey was supposed to be gone on April 1st, but they're extending it indefinitely. So stop by Wings and Rings at one of their two Lincoln locations today on O Street and on Village Lane. 
Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Southeast Community College invites you to check out our spaces ahead of your official campus visit. Our virtual campus tours let you see our campuses and learn more about our programs of study. Then you can schedule your individual visit in person or virtually. Virtual tours of our campuses in Beatrice, Lincoln, or Milford and our learning centers are online at southeast.edu slash visit SCC. SCC, your path to possible. On the block with Strick and Austin. When you're when you're in New York, Nick, in New York, I mean, you're talking about you see mafioso types. <laughs> you go into a restaurant and you would literally eat. Hey, come on over here. You know they they you know I don't know how to say it. I don't got the accent, but they would say, come come Strick, come on, come over, have a drink on me. And what are you gonna do? Say no. You, you not say you no. Don't say no to the drink. <laughs> you don't say no. Weekdays from two to four. On 937 The Ticket and the Ticketfm.com. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full time roles offer a four and a half day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM first. 93.7 The Ticket. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Everybody, we're back again. This is the drive on 93.7 the ticket. This segment is proudly sponsored by Florial's Italian Restaurant Grill, just south of Lincoln Southwest High School on 14th and Pine Lake Road. Florial's Italian Restaurant provides a cozy, family-friendly setting where good food and good company come together. All you have to do is visit Florialsne.com or call 402-423-5576 to make reservations or place takeout orders. Florials this weekend. Watch some masters, get some Florials. Maybe we'll even see best today. All right, we're back. Final segment time of out, the drive. We got so so Terrell. You got you got two shots of espresso in there. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh boy, do you, do you really need two shots of espresso? I didn't, but I just wanted to do it because I want to get on the captain nerves when he come in. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh. Terrell, what do we got this weekend? Anything exciting? A uh, grill. Grill. Two grill. grill. Two grill? Two grill? Yeah, two grills. Yeah. Uh yard work. Okay. I'm gonna try to get the yard nice. situated and got the sprinklers on yesterday. Mm. Shout out to my guy, Tyler Berry, who go. helped me. Son went to Southwest. Um, what's his name? Uh Brent Berry. Mm -hmm. The one that went to mm. Southwest Missouri or something, but he came by and he helped me. So I'm situated. I'm gonna cut the grass and then I'm gonna fertilize it. Then I'm gonna Nice. Probably go get some mulch and put that out and get the yard ready. I want I want to compete for the best yard contest this year. To, tomorrow's the first mow of the year. Yes. All right. It's gonna be a beautiful weekend too, bro. Yeah. It's gonna be nice. And though. probably be thirty eight Monday. Yeah. So <laughs> eighty eight thirty eight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what the weather's supposed to be like next week. week. I'm next week. I'm not sure. So I see you. Up, I'm in a room with a bunch of golf guys, of course, because you know this is the only thing y'all talk about all day. The Masters. So <laughs> I do know a guy who's leading. Oh, it's cold. What, seven, he's, um, seven. Seven under. Seven mm -hmm. under. He, um, he still got to play the rest of his yes, first round. Know. See, I know a little bit. Well, yeah, he's got. He'll start his second round. He got through. <laughs> Augusta looks beautiful. Yes, it does. Not the beauty. Oh, not I, not two and a half hours. Two and a half hours away from yeah. you grew up at. Yeah. How how many? What, what do you think the population of Augusta is? I have no idea. Would you probably. Think? A hundred. hundred thousand? Yeah. In Augusta? Probably. This week, though, it's 
four hundred fifty thousand private. They have over fifteen hundred private jets. Yeah, mm. at Augusta Airport with all the with all the jets and everything for the weekend, man. And, and probably about one twenty five. You gotta look. At, yeah, I mean, you gotta look it up and see. It's probably it's up there. It's not the biggest city, but mm -hmm. it's one of those. We call it country. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Uh, Augusta, Savannah, Macon, country yeah. town. Savannah's beautiful. Bro. Yeah, I love Savannah, man. Well, folks, before the spillover gets started, I'm going to do the AD attitude adjust before I head out. Raph and uh, Terrell, the black shirt, Nick will take you home. The AD attitude adjustment is sponsored by Trade Life Choices. Nick, I can feel you looking at me right now. <laughs> IOC is hired for direct support professionals all over the state of Nebraska, full time, part time, days, evenings, and weekends. Help ensure a meaningful life for the people you support and helping to achieve their hopes and dreams. Apply at lc.net backslash careers. Want to give Dan Whitney Lair, the cable guy, another round of applause. I appreciate him for coming on with us this morning. And uh, get it. Uh, call down the Pinnacle Bank. Get your tickets for the PBR tomorrow night uh, at PBA. You can take care of that as well. Today's attitude adjustment is brought to you from a movie that I saw. Man, uh, we've all seen it. Maybe in case we all seen it. Maybe some of you've seen it before. Star Wars. But nope, not Nick. Has Nick seen it? Nick, have you seen Star Wars? No, it's okay. Just continue so you don't get to late to your next appointment here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's <a> pressing issue. <laughs> Oh, man, now you made me lose my spot, man. There we go. It's a movie called A Beautiful Mind. A Beautiful Mind. Have you seen it with Russell Crowe? I haven't. It's A Beautiful Mind. You got to watch it, man. Russell Crowe plays a, a professor named John Nash that eventually develops uh, bipolar, uh, develops bipolars, basically. And there's a line in there where he says, a diet of the mind. I choose not to indulge in certain appetites, meaning negativity, pessimism. Haters, people out there always yakking about. He goes, I choose to have a diet of the mind. Folks, in this crazy social media world and where there's always something negative, pessimistic, somebody putting somebody down, listen, have a diet of the mind and don't indulge in certain appetites that mess up your peace. Because if my mama would say, don't let nobody steal your peace. <laughs> Folks, don't let nobody steal your peace. Raph, Ra Raph, before we get out of here, what's your uh, RGT today? All right, everyone. Today's RGT goes out to Dan Whitney, a.k.a. Larry the Cable Guy. Uh, I just give him the RGT today for all the stuff that he does for the state of Nebraska, the city of Lincoln. Every time he's playing at one of those tournaments, uh, celebrity program, always got Nebraska stuff on, uh, always repping the state, always repping the city. Mm -hmm. Got the PBR coming on Saturday. Um, it's just cool to, you know, to know somebody that, and he's all, everybody comes up, asks for autographs and talks like Mater. He does that. So, Whitney, you are the RGT for today. There it is. Make sure you stay tuned. The captain with Terrell yeah. Bach and uh, Rashad. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, there over. we go. Spill over. Oh, no, we're done. This we're, was the this spillover. Is this is the out. Yeah. We oh, it's 10 it. or 3. Oh, yeah, was we it? did it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. We, we got 10 seconds. Everyone, be nice to each other and watch the Masters. We'll talk to you on Monday. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. You can get diesel anywhere, but what about Atomic Diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic Diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with Atomic Diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how Atomic Diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. Clothes dryer not drying like it should could be your dryer vent. 
Call Bryant for a professional cleaning. 467-1111. Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member? For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The Electrical Workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Community means something different to everyone. But for me, it means cheering on those around you during the good times and helping them out during the tough times. I'm softball player Jordy Ball, and I've been blessed with the support of my friends, family, coaches, and community throughout my life. When looking for a bank to call home, it was easy to choose Midwest Bank. I never feel like just another customer, and they're proud to support their communities. They love what they do, and it shows. Your community, your bank. 